He's a sitting judge known for his heavy caseload, but these days Mark Rosani's calendar is looking pretty sparse and all of his cases involving the Buffalo Police Department have been removed from his docket. The state Supreme Court justice recused himself after this video hinted that he sought preferential treatment. Now his job could be in jeopardy. Here's Claudine Ewing with this Two on Your Side original. Two on Your Side was told almost immediately after police body camera video showed a judge acting out of character that the Commission on Judicial Conduct wanted all files related to Mark Rosanti. Well, today I received a letter from that commission indicating that all complaints really are confidential. However, there are some strict limitations. Mark Grisanti, a former state senator who was appointed to the bench in 2015 by Governor Cuomo, who praised the Republican for voting to legalize gay marriage. Now a state Supreme Court judge, Grisanti is under scrutiny for a summertime street fight. He and his wife are battling with neighbors who they say have been harassing people for years. It's put the judge's job in jeopardy. And she bit me there. This is Buffalo Police body cam footage. The shirtless judge shoves a police officer. My police daughter officer. and my son are both Buffalo police officers. Officer. I know, I know. And you I'm would, calling you right would, now. Dude! Would not want them put, putting your hand, somebody putting their hand. Dude! Hands. You are not going to fight a cop. He's not arrested. He comes over and he freaking whacks me, like slaps me across the face. Okay. So I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? You rip my freaking necklace off and you touch a cop! Both are detained. And drop it. Everybody's name with a badge. And you're expecting special treatment. How does that look like to everybody in this good. environment right That's now? Good. It doesn't look good. I know. And then you're you right. grab him? Judge Grisanti is handcuffed, placed in a police car, allowed to speak with a detective by phone about shoving an officer. Um, I apologize to him, Mark, right after that because I said, listen, I respect you guys in law enforcement. You know, you know, I go, my daughter's a police officer. There were no criminal charges. Here's what the DA told our Steve Brown. And he clearly showed him pushing the officer. All right. Put his hands on him. Yeah. That now, usually gets you arrested. Yeah, well, the the officers, for whatever reason, they decided not to file charges. Flynn says at most it would have been a harassment charge. The disparity in treatment here based upon color and, and privileged position. He's a Rochester lawyer not involved in this case. The real headache for the judge has to be the State Commission on Judicial Conduct. There are 11 members, four appointed by the governor. They meet several times a year. Once an investigation is authorized, witnesses are interviewed, records examined. When the commission determines a judge should be admonished, censured, or removed, it's sent to the chief judge of the Court of Appeals. The court serves the judge, then it becomes public. While the commission is mum on the Grisanti matter, there are indications that they're looking into it because they investigate complaints which include improper demeanor, conflicts of interest, intoxication, favoritism, and other misconduct on or off the bench. There's no getting around what was on the video, but who are the real instigators? This is a guy, he's a human being, he's a man. He sees his wife being, you know, thrown to, you know, put to the ground, handcuffed. The fact that the judge did put his hands on a police officer, he has to understand that for the average person, they would have been arrested. Certainly, he wished it wouldn't have happened. Grisanti had another issue before he was judge. He and his wife were involved in a scuffle at the Seneca Niagara Casino. But now, he's a judge. The stakes are higher. Recent cases by the commission led to the removal of judges. Niagara Falls Mayor Robert Rostino was removed from the Falls City Court bench. Court documents say in an egregious and unprecedented abuse of judicial power, he had 46 defendants put in custody in a bizarre effort to discover the owner of a ringing cell phone in the courtroom. The judge said his actions were due to certain stresses in his personal life. The commission concluded it was such a gross deviation from the proper role of a judge that it warrants removal. And he had a previously unblemished record. Rochester City Court Judge Leticia Astachio was removed for conduct violations and served time in jail for violating her DWI probation. The decision was determined on the full spectrum of her behavior and its impact on the public perception of the judiciary. There are rules for judges. At the top, high ethical standards. For Judge Grisanti, that is a question for the commission. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.